Okay, guys, it's it's been quite a while, and I've been doing a lot of work. Um, as you can see, not much has changed as far as the unit itself. I that's the that's that's the power rotor, okay, and it's being powered by two uh, straight up Bendini circuits running off of the same battery, and all I want it to do is to um, produce power. I don't care about back EMF. I don't care about anything. All I care about is torque, which is why I, I have the um, the four long bars like this. They also have sand in them, so I've got really good torque with it. Now, what have I been doing as far as my generator? Alright, this guy is going to be the top... Uh, the top generator and of course you'll have a stator and as you can see it's staggered it's like a cluster effect and uh, it was a bear to put together this this piece is aluminum and actually the bottom of a toothbrush holder you'd be amazed what you find at Home Depot all right and then where the heck is my uh Oh, right here. This is the other rotor. I mean, um, the other generator. And it will go down here. Okay, so I'll have a generator here, a generator here, and the power system here. North, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. I have um, uh, one inch by half inch by eighth and then four round neos and then the same thing on the bottom and i have that i have 10 of those okay and the 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 stator for that guy is going to be let me just put this on hold for a second all right this is going to be one half of the stator took me a long time to build this thing and you know as you can see you know it's going to be one half and it's going to be wrapped i'm going to try to get a hundred wraps you know clockwise counterclockwise counter, clockwise kind and then in between here i'm going to put a um uh a core a um iron filing core and so the wire will come around like this and it will create like a, a well. I will then spray the hell out of it with polyurethane or something. Put the, um, uh, the um, uh, uh, iron filings in there. And we'll see what happens. And I'm going to do the same for this guy, but at a much smaller scale. So you see you've got this guy kind of like, oh, let me see if I can get this right. Sorry about the video, guys. So this guy will be like this. All right? Except there'll be two of them. And each one is going to be uh, AC rectified individually and then connected out. Okay? And as you can see, I've got my wires coming out here from my Vendini circuit. Uh, you know, again, I'm not looking to do anything spectacular. I was able to get the whole thing down to like 400 milliamps um, uh, draw at 12 volts and it flies. And so my good friend Com Warrior, uh, well, what's his name, not, not Paul, Ed, uh, Kevin, told me to get wire wrapped potentiometers and that's what I did. And they made the difference. So, um, and as you can see, I put no resistor on there because, you know, again, I'm not looking. And actually, when I hook up a meter to this guy and I check the back EMF, it's like 480 volts. Of course, it's no amps, but a ton of volts. Um, so I don't know how I would get the amps up so that I could use it. But, of course, the hope is that with this guy this guy right here all right and this guy going around there and then this monster around here and then hooking it all together 
I can somehow put out something more than what's coming in. I don't know. It's a pipe dream. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't I haven't posted anything in a long time, so so there it is. And like I'm not gonna start it up because I started it up before, and it's, you know, no big deal. I've got I've got all my wires here that just you know go to the various things. Oh, and I did manage to snag me a high voltage capacitor, which is sweet. I can use this instead of the um, charge battery. And also, I need some help. I got this guy out of a out of a um, microwave. And it's a transformer. Uh, I mean, it's a yeah, I guess it's a high voltage transformer. It's got two connectors here, one connector here, and it's got two connectors here but one that splits off so i'm not sure i want to do something with it you know get some sparks get some whatever of course i'm not stupid uh, i'm terrified of electricity so i want to be safe so if anybody knows how i can get um uh some kind of a tesla spark thing going out of this thing and it's rated I don't really know what it's rated at. It says 120, 60 hertz, but that's probably input. I'm sure the output is much more. Anyway, that's great. You know, old microwaves. Great. There it is right there. The old microwave. All right, so somebody can help me. I've got two prongs here, one here, one here, and two here. All right? And hopefully by the next time I post another video... I will at least have this guy on, this rotor on, and we can see what it produces. All right? Ciao.